Now we could add these one by one, or if we're pulling this in from another accounting system and I have a list of items that we want to do at the same time, we could import. This importing process can be done in a lot of these areas like setting up your customers, setting up your items, and setting up your inventory, service items, and your vendors. So I'm going to say, okay, let's say I hit the drop down and say import. If I do an import option, here's what we have. First time importing products or services, all your products and service information must be in one file. The top row of the file must contain a header title for each column of information. Required fields, if you're importing inventory, then product name, product type, quantity, and quantity as of date are required. If you're importing services or non-inventory items, the name of the item is the only required field. Now, this, this is select a, a CSV item here, uh, and this on this side, we've got the Google Sheet. So over here, CSV is, is like an Excel file, or it's like a comma delineated file, but you can open it in Excel. With, it basically looks like an Excel file with no formatting to it. Now, we can open up their sample. So a good way to do this oftentimes is to open up the sample, which shows up down here if you're in Google Chrome. It'll typically open up in uh in an excel worksheet so i'm going to say enable and then if i have my information that i got from another accounting system like this then i really all i really want to do is populate the headers to fit to to fit right so i can I, what i'd like to do is line up the proper headers so that it will line up when I import it into the system. It won't get confused because I use different header names than they have formally used. So what I'll do is I'll just modify their template here and, and then enter my data into it. So I'm gonna change the headers to line up to what my headers are. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste my data into this Excel worksheet and use it to upload. So let's, I'm gonna delete this one altogether. I'm gonna delete this. And then, and then let's look at what we have here. So what I have is the, is the item name, products and services. So product service name, product and service description. Let's keep that. The SKU, I don't have one. So I'm going to delete. The type is going to be service for us. So let's keep that line. The sales price. Uh, so we need that line income account i think we're going to need that line and then the purchase description is uh, we don't need that because it's a we don't need the purchase cost the expense account we don't need so i'm going to delete those it's not inventory so i'm going to go i'm going to put my cursor on the f and then reorder point don't need inventory asset don't need because it's a service item that's why this is a simplified intro into the, the inventory which we'll do next time quantity on hand we don't need so i'm going to delete that and then if i go back to the right we've got the product service name i'm going to delete these and i'm just going to copy my product and service names which i put here i'm just going to copy these these are generic things obviously so they're they're kind of don't and then i'll put them in here and then we got the sales description, which I'm going to just say is the same. So this is what this description that's going to show on the invoices and sales receipts. So I'm just going to copy this, put it down there, paste it. And then I didn't have something for the type, but the type is going to be a service item. It's not an inventory items, they're service items. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it down and delete these two. And then the sales price, I'm going to pick that up from my data. So I had these, so I'll copy those and put that on the sales price and the income account. I think they had an account called service for the income account. That's the account that will be hit every time we enter the information to the system. And I think there was a tax, there should be a tax account, which I didn't see whether it's taxable or not. And I'm going to say non-taxable and see if they'll able to pick that up. Because it's non-taxable, meaning not subject to sales tax. Okay, so then I think that's good. I'm going to save this. 
I'm gonna say file save as I'll put it on my desktop somewhere I'm gonna say it's gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna put it into my QuickBooks online file get great guitars and I'm gonna call it uh, service items and then save it and okay continue I think this is like an old Excel file is what they're trying to say there. So I'm going to, I'm going to close it out now and see if I can import it into the systems. I think I have everything I need. The headers are proper now because I used their headers, except this one is a little iffy. We'll see what it does with that. Okay. So let's test it out. I'm going to close it up and then I'm going to browse and look for that file that I just did, which was on the desktop. It's on QuickBooks online. It's get great guitars service items. It's an Excel file, which is appropriate for this side, or it could be an, a CSV. So I think I'm good there. So I'm just going to go, okay, next. And so now it's trying to line up all the categories. So these are the header categories that are possibly available. When you enter the items, these are my headers and they should line up hopefully because I copied their names. So this is what they have. This is what on what was on my Excel sheet. It lines up perfectly. Great. This one lines up perfectly. Great. This one lines up perfectly. Great. Because I used their header names. Sales price lines up perfectly. And then the income account lines up perfectly. And then that tax thing. Where did the tax thing go? It looks like they don't have the tax option here to see if it's taxable or not. So that's why I didn't have the header in the sheet. So, okay, we'll have to deal with the tax separately possibly. So let's go ahead and say next. And so now it's gonna give us another sheet, which give us the information, the, the items in red or, or questionable items here, right? So we've got the name. So there's the names that we set up, that looks right. And then we're not, we're not buying them or tracking the inventory items. There's no number there. The type looks good as a service item. Sales description looks good. Price looks good. Income account. I said service and they're having an issue with that. So I'm looking for an income account. Service income. Let's use that one. Now I'm going to right click on the tab up top and duplicate it. Pull that to the left. And then I'm going to go down to my chart of account. I'm going to close this out over here and go down to my chart of accounts under the accounting tab chart of accounts if you were under the business view that would be under the bookkeeping tab and the chart of accounts and what i'm looking for is an income statement account that's appropriate now if they don't have one that's appropriate then i would make one up but i can see down here they've got service uh, fee income so i'm going to keep i'm going to use that one as my income account if i didn't like the name i'd change the name of it and then use that account basically would be my my idea so i'm going to go back to the back to the other tab and say okay i'm just going to change all these to the service income account boom service income account boom service income account okay and then we don't really need an expense and then the quantity i'm just clicking on them just to get rid of the red there shouldn't need a quantity because we're not we're not talking about inventory, no reorder point. This is not really necessary because we're, so it should be good. Now the as of date shouldn't really matter, but I'm trying to get it at the, it will matter later for the inventory. And I want it in there as of the end of last year, the end of last year. So if there was a, a journal entry, it doesn't affect the current period. There won't be this time, but there will be when we get to the inventory items. And this is a precursor to the inventory. So let's say import and see what it does. So four out of four successfully imported. Boom. That's what we like. 